Today I'm going to show you how to do partial sums. So let's get this down and we can take a look at what it means specifically first. Partial sums. So with partial we have the word part. Sums means add. So we're simply adding the parts. So I'm going to give you a problem, 501, and then we are going to add 649. So now we're just going to add the parts. So what are the parts to 501? Well, here we have to take a look at place value. So in the hundreds place, I have five hundreds for the number 500. In my tens place, well, I don't have any tens, so no tens is simply worth zero. And then for the ones, for the ones I only have one. So if we add these parts, add the parts, we have 500 plus 0 plus 1, that will give us 501. Okay, we'll take a look at the parts of this number as well. 649, well for our hundreds we have 600 of them, excuse me, we have 6 100s for a total of 600. For the tens we have 4 tens, or 40. For the 9 we have that in the ones place we just have 9s. So now we're thinking this in our head. That's how the number breaks down. So when we take a look at our problem here, here's what you'll see. First we're going to add the hundreds. Now you see that the hundreds are already separated right out here. So we're just going to think 500 plus 600 is 1,100 or 1,100 depending on how you say it. Then we're going to move to the next part, the tens. So we have 0 tens plus 4 tens gives us 40. Again, adding the parts, we're going to add our 1. So we have 1 plus 9, thinking in our head over here. 1 plus 9 will give 10. Now, since we're adding all these together, we're going to add this total. 0, 0, and 0 give us 0. 0, 4, and 1 give us 5. The 1 comes straight down and the other one comes straight down so that we have an answer of 1,150. Now we'll try a couple more problems. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these parts up here and we're going to use that to help. Remember that anything in these parentheses really acts as our brain, what we're doing as we're thinking in our heads. So we'll do a couple problems like this. We'll take the problem 496, we're going to add 341. Okay, let's think about the parts that we add, partial sums. So I have 496, 341. Well, for the hundreds, we have 400. For the tens, we have 90. And for the ones, we have 6. 341, we have 300. We have 40. And then for the ones place, we have ones. So now let's add these parts. 400 plus 300 gives us 700. 90 plus 40 is 130. 6 plus 1 gives us 7. Let's add these parts. 0, 0, 7 is 7. 0, 3 is 3. 7 and 1 is 8 for an answer of 837. Again, adding the parts of the number. Now the reason I like this strategy is because when you have this number in front of you, it actually goes quite quickly to help you figure out your mental math. If you practice this enough, that will not be a problem at all. Again, I'm going to go ahead and erase what we have here. I'm going to leave these parts up here one last time just so we can remember what we are thinking. And we'll take away and we'll do a little bit in our heads. We'll take 114 plus 674. Okay, 114 is 100 plus 10 plus 4. 674 is 600 plus 70 plus 4. Add the parts. 100 plus 600 is 700. 10 plus 70 is 80. 4 plus 4 is 8. 008 is 8, 08 is 8, and 7 
is 788 for your correct answer. I'm going to give you two problems that I'd like you to work on your own, and then you can come back and take a look at part two, and you can check your answers. I'm going to erase this with everything on your blank slate, and see how you can do this in your head. Let's go 334 plus 233. That will be your first problem I'd like you to solve. Your second problem will be 654 plus 321. So we'll add the parts of these sums. You can come back to part two and check your answers.